everyone, welcome back to the Awkward Basement. And uh, in this video, what I want to do is explain how all of this stuff works together. So, first thing is I have solar panels outside that are capturing sunlight and they're bringing the electricity in through these sets of wires right here. What I have is I have two sets of solar panels. So now I have two sets of circuit breakers right here so I can turn off my solar panels from the rest of my system. Uh, from there, they split off and everything splits off because I have two sets. So I'm just gonna explain the one set over here. So it, the solar panel is bringing electricity into this circuit breaker and then it brings it over to this charge controller. These are called solar charge controllers. Uh, there's two different types. Uh, I have an MPPT. Uh, what it does is it takes the voltage and the amperage from the solar panel and converts it to what your system can use. Uh, my system is a 24 volt system, so it reduces it down from like 30 to 35 volts down to what the system can use, which is like 24 to 26 volts. Uh, from there, it goes down to another circuit breaker, and from there, it goes to my positive bus bar, which is labeled here. It goes to this positive bus bar, and then there's a negative that goes down into my negative bus bar. And from these bus bars, that is where it kind of distributes out through all the other equipment in my system. So I have positive and negatives going to my, my inverter. Um, you need an inverter if you want to plug in any kind of AC electricity. Uh, AC electricity is what your house uses, uh, what all of your lights, all of your plugins, uh, your TVs, all that stuff is using AC electricity. So you need to have one of these if you want to power those kind of types of things. Uh, it also powers my, uh, my 24 volt to 12 volt step down voltage reducer. Uh, what this does is since I have a 24 volt system, it reduces that voltage down to 12 volts which can power all of the 12 volt devices that I have plugged into my system. Uh, for example, my 12 volt DC block right here, which powers uh, my DC lights. It also powers uh, my Raspberry Pi, which I'll get to in a second, uh, by, by using this little uh, USB plug right here. I also have some USB ports in another room that this powers. So this is another distribution center, but for all my 12 volt uh, applications. Okay, uh, and also the positive, positives and negatives go down into my batteries. On my negative side, it does go into a shunt. Uh, what my shunt does is I'll show you a, a picture of it right here. So what it does is it shows the state of charge of my battery. And it will also show what the voltage of my battery is. So it's very nice to know uh, how full are your batteries. Okay, like I said, uh, this DC block does power my Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, what this is, let me take this case off. What this is actually is it's a little it's a little computer, um, and what this little computer does is it monitors the entire system. Let me show the screen right here. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of information that is available by using a Raspberry Pi. You can see your state of charge. You can see what's coming in from your solar panels to your solar charge controllers. You can see what your solar charge controllers are actually feeding into your battery when it comes to voltage and amperage. You can also see a history of uh, how your system ran over time. So it's very nice to have. That is my entire system. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please press that like button. And if you like this content and you want to learn more about it, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and you all have a great day.